All right, hey guys, welcome back to JR14. Here I am with another video for you guys. Obviously, you see this is the same exact setting as that oil video for Rove Motor Oil. If you haven't checked it out already, that is in the link in the description below. Make sure you guys check it out. But for this episode, we are here in Cecil County Dragway at Mod to Fame Fest. Your boy, Steph, who runs Mod to Fame Fest with Cheapo Kitty and the and the Panamera and the uh, and the, also the Dodge Durango and all of his Mopar buddies invited your boy out JR14. Now he actually didn't invite me out. He actually called me out um, here to Cecil County Dragway to race and drag Project Mark Seven. Now, as you guys know, we've done everything from tunes, boltons. Um, everything else that we've done on this car and you can check all the videos that of the whole project build so far but we're here i never drag raced the car before i killed this car kills on the track and autocross but never really dragged it before so i'm very interesting of the times i'm looking at my competition as you can see uh 458 porsche 911 997 porsche cayman s hellcats galore demon yeah demon Fox Body 5.0 Mustang, Durango 392. So literally, literally, I have no, everyone's gonna beat the crap out of me today on the track, but I'm not here for that. Maybe I'll egg him on enough to do a race with him and Cheapo Kitty today. And if I lose, oh well. If I get him out of the hole, I win. That, that's it, I win, I win. I make 310 horsepower, he makes 707, but I make 310 to the wheel, so it's about six, 670 to the wheel for him and he has no mods so it's gonna be very interesting but without further ado let's get the car on the track and let's check it out and let's see what project mark 7 does on the drag strip i'm excited and i'm scared at the same time Out my issue. You're it out? Yeah, I gotta ride the clutch out of it. Oh. Cause like what happens is like every time I dump it, I fall right out of boost. It falls right on its face. Uh, okay, okay. So I went from like a 14.3 to a 13.7. Okay. So I'm like, that's that I'm happy yeah, with. Keep, keep on it. Oh yeah. I'm getting a little bit better. <laughs> What's going on, man? Yeah, cool.
pretty decent turnout. Um, but definitely we're gonna walk around. I've been running the car all day. I'm mad excited now because I finally understood why I was getting such slow times. And it's not the car, which is great. It's me, which is worse, but because I'm the guy driving it. But that's, that's besides the point. If I can get that down to a 13.4, 13.5 maybe, if I'm asking for too much, I think that's perfect for a stage two car. Um, and a manual. Uh, me, I know how to drive manual. I know how to launch it. It's just with a sticky track. It's just a, a, a pain to figure it out. So um, I'm trying to figure this out as we go along. But right now we're going to walk around. We're going to see what kind of cars are out here and uh, check out Mata Fame himself and see he did. He did. He did wheels and tires, but he never specified what those wheels and tires were. Hence why I'm here. So I'm going to we're going to walk over there right now and check out those wheels and tires. Let's go. All right. So we at the Mata Fame booth. The host of this amazing event. And we're looking at the wheels. My boy's got wheels and tires set up on this car. Woo! Alright, Mata Fame, I see you. Killing this drag shirt, that's when you know he's using it when you get the rubber on the back bumper. Definitely dope, it's definitely lit right here. He's running it good. He's running what size tires now? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. What size tires is he running? 315s. That's going to solve. For any Hellcat owner, you know that they normally come, if you don't have the wide body track, um, if you don't have the wide body Hellcat, you know that they come with 275s on a normal basis. But now he upgraded the wheel size and he upgraded the tire size. So now he went from a 275 to a 315. My boy don't, my boy don't spin no more. And I actually been seeing this car on the track today. He's hooking. He's hooking nice. So hopefully... He's definitely doing it. This thing is sick. Ooh. Airbags. Air suspension. This thing is sick, bro. This thing is dope. If you haven't seen Mod of Fame's videos, you've seen this guy. I believe it's the, the Enforcer. You've seen this car on his channel before. This thing is absolutely, it rips. And Damn, bro. It's an expensive ticket. <laughs> man, good, 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 man. Everything good? Oh, yeah, everything's great, bro. Oh, man. Everything's great. Would you gonna take this out for us, man? I did, man. I ran a 12-4 for the first time in my life. Woo! Ain't it great? Like this is the first bro. time I ever went down a drag. So your boy Steph uh -huh. was telling me that there was some competition for me that I can run. Ain't nobody here I can even mess with. <laughs> There's supers, Hellcats. The huh? The, the belly's still faster than me. <laughs> it did the belly still does like like tens and elevens and stuff like that, thirteens or whatever. My best time was a thirteen seven, which is great for my car, but there's, there's just thousands and thousands of horsepower. Yo guys, my dream, one of my dream cars is like the realistic dream car. Oh, this thing, Porsche, nine eleven nine nine seven point two. Ooh, and he's got the manual in it. Good man, good man. But he did this whole Red Bull wide body theme, like a true uh, race car. And it looks, it looks so clean. Oh my God. With the actual European fog lights, the fog lights in the rear and this one, wide tires. Looks like the actual race car, but he has full leather interior, air conditioning, and even a cup holder. Get out and drive. He's got all these different signatures on it. Man, I would love to review this on my channel. This thing is lit. And that's when you know he drives it with the cracked lip. Porsches weren't meant to be pretty. Porsches were meant to be driven. Then, you know, I do want one of these as well. My girlfriend does too. She's like obsessed with these. Challenger Hellcat. Ooh. Wheel motivation. Beautiful Hellcat, man. All blacked out. Clean. For a black car, quick clean. No swirls in the paint. All you Ferrari owners out there, don't be scared to race your car, please. All you do is put a 200 miles on it, then you flip it for more profit. Stop doing that. You need to drive your cars, man. This guy's on a drag ship killing it right now. This interior is crazy. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Take your car on the street, and you enjoy it. You go on a track day, you enjoy your car. You don't sit there and put it in a nice little showroom garage and keep it locked away. Gotta, gotta drive it. This F-150 is nasty though. This thing look like your average 
$30,000 pickup truck. But then you see it's lowered, you see the wheels. Oh, okay, it's got a Whipple supercharger on it. No, <laughs> This thing is nasty. This thing is like what, 10, it's doing 10, 10, 10 8s? Jesus Christ. And it looks, it looks like your base F-150. Got, you take it to Home Depot. Yeah, right, go to Home Depot, get everything. That's crazy, the Whipple intake into that massive supercharger, if you guys can see that, Jesus. Jeez, talk about a sleeper. Yeah, and it looks so good too. Lowered. I'm running for I'm running for y'all on the camera right now, trying to get this footage for y'all. So we got a wide body Hellcat and a Lamborghini Huracan. Who you think gonna win? I ain't gonna lie, I already know who's gonna win. Chance. Let me get it going. Damn. Mm. Mm. Alright. This should be interesting. Oh, he's gonna kill me, bro. Oh, this I don't know. Oh, you wanna pound the gap? Yeah. <laughs> Give him at least three cars. <laughs> Come on, bro. You know you give him three cars. You got oil wheel drive. You got 600 horsepower, my man. I don't hear that stock. <laughs> what time is it? 12 o'clock. They doing rolling today? Yeah, they are, but we're not the brain. Got demonology here. Demonology killing on the track today with a demon. Done. Oh! I feel like the fed are doing a wheelie. Oh wow! Oh, that ain't far gone. <laughs> Yo, how are you running, bro? No. Oh, he broke the elevens. Okay. Woo! At one fourteen. Oh man. And you and you wanted to get rid of this at a point. You can't get rid of this, bro. You gotta tune it now. You gotta tune it. These cars tuned? I know, you, you gotta... Really I know, you gotta tune it, bro. Sorry guys, you ain't messing with that, uh, that CTSV. The thing is nasty. And it's not showing times. I, I don't understand the essence of that. They don't, no one likes to show times. They're not showing times on the, on the Panamera, not showing times on the new M5, not showing times on, show my time, I don't care. But.
Alright guys, well, we are here at Mata Fame Fest and I'm enjoying myself while I was enjoying myself. The event is dope, everything's great. Um, I officially broke it. Um, the car is broken um, and it's the clutch. The clutch honestly really just blew. I can't get into any gear. I'm practically stuck here. So, just really, I'm really annoyed right now. So I'm waiting for a tow truck now to tow Project Mark 7 back to New York from Maryland. I'm not excited about that at all either. That's gonna be a crap load of money. But now I need a clutch. And what I really wanted to do, I don't know, I gotta figure this now, I gotta put a clutch in the car. So guys, I'm sorry I'm not enthusiastic right now. I'm really upset. Uh, didn't expect this to happen about 150 miles away from home but we're gonna figure it out. We will get my Project Mark 7 back on the road without a doubt. I'm not worried about it. You shouldn't be worried about it. I'm just in the feelings right now. So just uh, bear with me. Scott, thank you. Shout out to Mod to Fame for inviting JR14 out and the Project Mark 7 out for the day. Um, for what racing I was able to do, we got 13, seven and a quarter. That's how I'm happy with that for now. Uh, we're gonna revisit this better um, later on, but um, I'm just glad that we were able to um, achieve that. But. Uh, and had a good time, met a lot of different people, got my eyes on some Hellcats, trying to like bring a smile to my face a little bit, but that Porsche is amazing. That Porsche is epic. I love that freaking Porsche to death. But without further ado, guys, like I said, thank you for watching the video and hopefully, got, hopefully see you guys in the next one. We'll talk more about what went wrong with Project Mark 7 in the next video. Without further ado, take care.